Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Oh, this fantastic opening game. I still argue it's one of the best on the system. I still remember every time that I would play this as, like, well, not as a kid, but when I was younger. Um, I would always let that theme play for a good, like, two minutes before I started the game. But we got things to do. So, last time, we uh, started our rise up the Glitz Pit until we met, basically, an opponent that could not be damaged at all, but fortunately we met a new friend in the form of this little Yoshi who we decided to name Alphabet. Yoshi has a flutter jump, as you can see. Anyway, this time we're gonna get right into it and uh, we have made it to the big leagues. Last time we did the first 10 fights. These 10 right here. And um, yeah, Wings of Night down at the bottom there. Since, uh, since our uh, Koopa buddy decided to uh, leave. But the Armored Harriers were our last opponent, and they have been bumped down to the Minor League so that we can participate in the Major League. As the Great Gonzalez, still 10 fights ahead of us, including the title fight against Rockhawk! Let's get back into it. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let's just see here. Your next opponent will be, ranked 9 in the Glitz Pit, the Tiny Spiders. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to not attack for the first three turns, okay? Fans love it when the, when the heroes make them sweat a bit, am I right? Or am I right? Now get in there and bring home the bacon. Again, I will not be reading all of these uh, introductory texts, but figured I'd read the first one for the session. Miss Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. For our next battle! We got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Thorny Demons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! It's gonna be fun poking at you. Get yourselves ready to battle! So I have to not attack for the first three turns. So, what, should I just defend, I guess? Also, does super guarding count as attacking? I guess we'll find out. Or I could just fail, you know? Either one. Come to think of it, I do need to switch out to Goomba. There's something to do. And Goomba's gonna attack. That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of, of the Buzzy Beetle spe species. Max HP is 5, defense, uh, attack is 3, and defense is a whopping 5. Yep, this guy's hard! It has really high defense and fire and explosions don't hurt it at all. 
You can just find a way to flip it over. Its underside has, def has defensive zero. And that's Spike. What a pain. There's gotta be a way to flip it over. I mean, that was gonna do one point of damage. Okay, now we are cleared to attack. Is this going to do any damage? I don't think it did. It, it actually might have done like one point. I'm not sure. But anyway, the trick here is uh, we're gonna probably need on. That worked pretty quickly. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! <laughs> How that floor taste! Here's your fine money, Mr. Gonzalez. Eleven coins. Ooh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Opado. Ooh. Wow. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and reserve our next match. Aha! Found a loophole. Those super guards did not count as attacks, so we're going up. When before you take 20 HP of pain. Alrighty. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely going to need our um, Yoshi buddy for this. The ultimate weapons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the poker faces. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? <laughs> You're gonna be close, lock kid. And that ain't good. You're up again, honestly. Oh, you're not up. Hmm. Uh. I think Coop's that he might be able to do it. Or I can just use Earth Trap. Yeah, I took care of them, and I didn't take 20 HP of damage, so that counts. Very mild applause, especially considering the amount of applause there is out here. Hey, cool. Twelve coins, ooh.
Um, Mario? Wasn't that your email alert just now? Shouldn't you check it? Eternal Meat. Uh, hello, and welcome to all this play the world. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. Eh, life is life. Hey, Wiz, that X guy again? He wants us to go to the watering hole? Who in the world is this guy? Yep. See you later, buddy. Also, let me just, uh... This is... Oh, hey. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yes, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick stash man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this, the letter that, uh, the lock, the this, the letter was talking about is this. The Super hammer. All right, let's learn how to use it. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's so nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can, you can also use it for a wicked cool new technique. Want to learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before, re before releasing B. Excellent, Mario! You're so awesome! Want to try it again? I got it. Okay, great! You master the super hammer! With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this! Oh gee, I almost forgot! You can also use the super hammer in battle, too! Try it! See you later, Mario! Good luck with your quest! So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model, the Hammerwack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why you leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a girl fighter. Oh, Mario! Emails are coming fast and furious now! Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room. Blockade in the minor league locker room, eh? What might be behind it? Hmm. I can see that being a problem.
Because you see, they will only let minor leaguers into the minor league locker room. This is ours. Um, actually, was it this one over here? Ah, it's all, isn't it? I got the war that you wanted to move back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad! What are you doing here? Rude. Switch to omelet here. We get a dubious paper, a letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Wow, Gonzalez! There's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars! They'll be investigating those things besides us. They even took pictures. Don't leave something like this lying around. This just reeks of funny business. You I can. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. Dang, what's with her? Uh, dang, what's with her? He busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star is here. Well, that was interesting what just happened. Nothing else much to do right now other than just um, continue up the ranks. The shell shockers. Avoid. I just got the shiny new hammer. You want me to not use it? Well, that's less than ideal. Alright, well... The Turtles of her. Yep, a fight to finish with the Shell Shockers! Let me at him, yeah, bring it! You ready for a beating? So-called Great Gonzalez. Don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Don't use your hammer. Okay, well. Let's, um... Let me start with doing some tile layer. That's a shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. The difference between them and other Koopas? They can attack from their backs. And when they flip back up, their attack gets boosted and they go totally 8. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they call shitty Koopas, huh? Well, let's start a jumping. Ow! Holy hell! Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our towel first. 
How's the shady paratrooper? It's a shady kill both wings, obviously. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Knock off its wings and it's a, re it's a regular shady Koopa. Unlike typical Koopas and paratroopas, its attack jumps when it flips, off, uh, when it flips up off its back. It also, says it, uh, it also says it has a move that hits you and your ally at once. Is that possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. No match. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch to Flurry. Oops. And power shot. I'll take care of one of them. And da, 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 da. I think I'm going to switch rate. I'm going to sweet treat and then my my controller is going to disconnect. That's great. That was, uh, not ideal. Okay, you're back out. Folks, the yeah, and Adonis twins are out of rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, now you gotta pay for it. Ah, a little tired from your match, great stink wad. Too bad, prepare for pain. Well, that's a rude. Alright, um. Let's start with Sweet Treat. Hopefully, not have a controller disconnect right at the beginning of it again. Dang it! Well, that wasn't too bad. And then switch to helmet. And go. Then let's do it again. <sighs> you lost after all that. We reek. Hooey! That's our great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors. Kid, don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough! He's too dang tough! 
Yet this kid is only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. Do I get any hazard pay for that extra fight? Sure do. Gonzalez, another email? What now? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you're D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex buddy. What do you think would send something like that? That is a very good question. Let's take a nap. Let's sleep on. Okie dokie. What do we got now? The fuzz. At least one special move? Yeah, I think I can do that. Oh, let's see. Okay. I'll probably just do... Um... Tremor, then. The bottomless vacuums. Yet a fight to the finish with the fuzz. Me or me or we'll suck up your souls. Me or the special move at least once. Or I do. That. I got some tackling to do. That's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy and it's green. Duh. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's similar to a normal fuzzy, so it re replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew, that is just the grossest thing ever. You don't find that idea gross? Seriously, there's something wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fuzzies is that this one multiplies. Now I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. Let's go ahead and smash this one in front. This time, buddy. Oh no. Oh, cool. Alright. Oh. Alright. That, that's just a jerk move. Like, seriously, come on. Yep, you sure can multiply. That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, well, well, totally pretty fuzzy, don't you think? Max HP is 6, attack is 3, and defense is 0. This thing attacks by boinging, boinging in and sucking out FP. How uncool, we need FP. Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it! It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks up your flower points! Duh! <laughs> Let's uh, put in a uh, beefier tank here. Even though she is kind of incorporeal. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and earth drum her.
Well, let's go ahead and flatten you. At least that multiplication meant uh, some additional flower points. It's not nothing. Why, that was no fuss whatsoever. Alright, 13 coins. Hey, you, Gonzalez. Jolene brought you a piece of cake. For a fan, I guess. Oh my, that looks delightful! I see no reason why you shouldn't treat yourself. Sure, why not? Goodbye diet. All that restored all of our stats, so um... Surely that's not going to be a problem in the future. If, he, if they want to keep just eating us cake. Oh come on, another one where I don't attack for three turns. That's just boring. Underworld Service. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? You fool, you would, you you fool would do well to fear our dark magic. Attack in the first three turns. Right. You go ahead and defend. You go ahead and help. Got three turns. The enemy's still involved. That's a red magic Koopa. It's a Koopa, a Koopa wizard dressed in red. Max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell which one, which one is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say though, that it, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It attacks with magic and can replenish its all of HP. Better hit it first, huh? Oh, this also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally lame because then you can't tell what, uh, the real deal from the copy. You're still throwing out buffs, which is just an idea. I don't know. I'm going to put her in front because then I can do attack. That's a green magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in green. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It has magic attacks and can also magically electrify allies and make them invisible. Oh, this also says it'll make, uh, it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Just totally lame, because then you can't tell the real deal from the copy. And then 
swap her out for her. Oh, good. Um, Unfortunately, the healer is still um, invisible here. If I were to do, I can I mean knocking it into the enemy behind it. All right. Uh. Nope. Good try. Um. Body oh, sign, I guess. However, now this one's going to be copies of itself. Oh, jeez. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Koops. And we're just going to do a Power Shell. Find a real one that way. I did think of something here. Um, did Tattle count as attacking? Mario! Oh, look who's here. Whoa, another fight is stoning him! He's screaming his fool head off about something! Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street is it's, uh, was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville. And look at here! Talk about perfect timing. And now all these folks get to watch me murderize you. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you! And I have witnesses! Hey, Jewel, how you doing? I'm glad you could make it today. Uh, let's see. Or where are we start? We are starting with... Uh, Swap Partner. He is definitely gonna need some more HP, but uh, we can go with that after the fight. That's Bowser, but what's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 1. He's uglier, uglier than I expected. He's got a poison spite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. And immediately switch her out for... Let's say Koops. That's because of his defense. And how are you enjoying Gen uh, Genshin Impact? Oh.
That was a very fast attack, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Smash. Dang, can't use him. Of course not. Um, well, let's keep on laying into him. But I can't jump on him either. Because he's spiky. Yeah, you get out of here. Um, go ahead and sweet treat. Yes. Five, not bad. Ugh. Well, I expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you get some licks in. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, guess I'll switch you out. Anyway, some kind of ghost. Can she safely body slam? I am not sure. Let's try it. The answer is yes. Some kind of cloud. Gotcha. Also, hey, Tyrion. Hope you're doing well tonight. Just asking in chat, I think. What y'all thinking for uh, for this level up? So we got 25 health right now, which to me seems like enough in enough for many cases, if not like all cases, to this point of the game. FP is at 15, and uh, BP is at 12. Jules thinking BP. So is pretty member. And I can definitely get the get behind that, and also the fact that uh, BP can be pretty important. So I think I'm just gonna go with the BP then. Mario became a B-less star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. Yeah. Ooh, that's our Gonzalez! He don't even bat an eye when some nut ambushes him. Tough! You're too tough, son! And you only gotta get tougher! Stay, stu uh, stay tuned, folks! Until next time, everyone! See ya! Use your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. I mean, I, I guess Bowser uh, Bowser's reach does not extend to the to uh, Glitzville. Now, well, if you excuse me, I must be going. 
I get no one recognizing the Mario. My word! What? Uh, who would expect that loud to show up here? My goodness gracious! Man, no kidding, huh? How do you not know who the ruler of a kingdom is? Especially the one that loves to put his face everywhere, you know. Sometimes you just gotta suspend disbelief, I guess. Crawdaddy. Keep that part of yours from attacking. I think from from what we've from what we've observed um, I don't think that tattle counts as an attack. So if we do need to tattle, we can still do that and not lose uh, our upward momentum. The dog gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Crawdaddy. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. Spooky. Well, oh, that was exciting. Finally, the Undertaker. Uh, let's go ahead and find out about the Undertaker. That's a dark craw. Yikes! What a ghastly looking spear, uh, spear thrower. Max HP is 20, attack is 6, and defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it if its spear is pointing up, cause that would hurt. For running Bill's spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so I'm gonna switch to Coops so I can just kind of have a tank. Don't jump. Oh. Oh, yes. Kumbella, you're spearheading the puns. Love it. Also, our max, our max audience is now 100, and there they all are with that bingo. Ooh, and we get a power block. Um, you know what? We got that bingo. Let's go ahead and give the audience something to cheer about. Fight down and um, I 
We shall see whether we stay in the upward direction or we go down. Um, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time! Go to the telephone. Out on the pavilion. Oh, it's from X again, huh? Telephone booth? Pavilion? Does he mean outside? You remember seeing a phone booth? Well, we better go look around. First of all, I'm gonna rest up. Surely whatever it is can wait until tomorrow. Hi. Gonzalez. Good timing, you pushy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. <laughs> hey, who does that guy think he is threatening us? Wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail came from Rockhawk. Well, one way or the other, we need to be really careful from now on. Let's go and check out <laughs> I love that someone took the time to type like this. Yeah, I've done that before. It's uh a little tricky. Oh. Storage key. Key that opens the storage room door in the glitz pit. Hi brother, Luigi here. How are you holding up? No, we don't deliver. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Coop, it's Roop, the belly, the beer pedal bird. How's Coops? Huh? Who are you? Frank calls are uncool. Mario, Pro Professor Frankly here. Be careful out there. Hi, Mario. This is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will you? Go to the store next to Grubba's office. Now we have to go to some storage room? Man, this seems like a lot of legwork. Is this guy just playing with us? Well, the idea that Mario just happens to guess the correct number. I still have no idea how to get this. telling me that you have no idea who got inside. What, what do we pay you for? I'm awful sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Hm. Fine, leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Hmm. Sure. Well, I have business being in here. Someone told me to go in here, so... Oh! <laughs> you mean again, you, hu you husky mustached hunk you. Oh, Miss Mouse. Hi there. Are you stealing something again? How exciting for you. And by the way, a security guard heard you in here. Are you making noise? Oh, please. No one heard me. 
I'm the best, the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about in here. Oh, sure. Right, of course. I didn't mean to doubt you, Miss Mouse. Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Oh, Mario, you lucky dog. I almost forgot, my sweet. This area holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful unless you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable punk of cheese. We shall meet again. It's leaving out the front door. Boy, Miss Mouse sure is cute. Too many sound like a dork whenever I talk to her. Hey, yeah, but enough of that. What was that last thing she said about the people upstairs? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic. Um, the staircase switch? There's supposed to be a, a staircase in here somewhere? Hmm. Well, that corner over there looks a little suspicious. I wonder if this is just subterfuge. It sure is. Aha! Ah, these are fake too. In fact, looks like Ms. Mouse wasn't completely thorough around here. Charge partner. Adds charge to your partner's tactics menu. Actually, come to think of it, I should probably set my badges. Um. Interesting. All right, let's add a new, a new attack to our repertoire. Hey. All right. So it looks like we shall need vomit. And then immediately flop that. And again, his mouse, you're uh, not as thorough as you used to be, huh? Oh, come on. I probably don't need to be that precise anymore. HP plus partner increases maximum HP by 5. Before we go down there, was there anything else over on this side? That's a locked door. It's locked, you can't open it. It's down here. So you didn't find, uh, so you didn't find hot out here, nobody in the storage room, that's what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir, I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just to ride or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we missed too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the by, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on the roster for regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any con any official connection to KPP, aka King K. 
I have, of course, taken the same steps if all fires have gone missing. Whew, fighters sure have been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in tarnation's going on? I even heard some security agent saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellows that King K headed on home for a spare. If word gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business. No siree! Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go to, darling? Uh, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, I didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? No, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie doke. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you. Surely no one will hear us. Well, if this ain't a fine out of you, seems like good fighter that dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa! Did you hear that? Fires are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Is that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. What in the hay? Thanks, seal and spooking me. Hey, somebody up there? Uh... Ooh, Nelly! This little burping beetle. Here I am thinking someone's up there peeping. I gotta relax. Take some yoga classes or something. Yep, well, back to the ring. Whoa, whoa, man. We dodged a bullet there. Hey, but did you hear that guy blabbing about the Crystal Star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he, hit, he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before somebody finds us up here. Yep, still no one down. Well, we can't go back up, so the only way that we have is to go down. Fortunately, this doesn't drop down into the office. I was never here, I was just doing thing for the thing. Anyway. Let's go ahead and reserve a match. Chomp Country. At least one special move. Gotcha. Gonzalez, Fedor Fierords. Yep, fight to the death with Charm Country. Arf, 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 arf. They're not very talkative, are they? A special move at least once. Well, the first thing we're going to do. Find out more about them. That's a red charm. It's a rabid red biting chewing chomping fool. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 3. Its attacks are so powerful we could be in a, in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. 
is why it's really, really lame that his defense is so high. His HP is pretty low though, so items and special moves might just work. Just look at that color. I think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party. You don't like the color red, do you? Uh, let's go with this. Well, that wasn't effective. That is a rush, though. Holy crap. Also no effect. Hmm. Power smash? That did something. Now let's see if we can replenish our FP. Nope, not this time. Ah, Koops is down. Super Ant. Not sure what the stylish on that is. Miss. Aha! A regular hammer at this point should take this one. Let's go ahead and finish this one off with a nurse book. Hey Axe, thanks for the raid. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. No, 14 coins, we're up to three! Only a couple of more ranks to go, and then we can fight Rock Hawk. Or we can get more email. This is your last work. Stop snooping around about that crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Oh dear, our sturdy friend. For such a pill, he does seem to know quite a fair bit. Between the Crystal Star and those poor missing fighters, this fellow seems to know everything we've been trying to find out. But who is he? It's a good question. Let's go ahead and take a rest, cause uh, we did kind of hit a bit of a snag with that fight. Rank two, Hema, Bama, and Flare. No flower points. Okay. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here if that's okay. Do with it what you will. Another oh, cake. My, my, that does look good. Why don't we just go ahead and have ourselves a bite? Mmm. You know what? I think the cake is a lie. No, you bizarre man. Why ever not? You no need to watch your weight. 
Oh, it's nothing about that one here. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bad Brute Bros. Yep, a fight to the finish with Hammer, Bama, and Flair. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? My grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yeah, um... Actually, I'm going to leave you in the back. Uh, Gumbella. None of you are probably going to die from a normal jump, so... And so that's Hannah. That's Bama. And that's Blair. Surely that's Ollie. That's a hammer bro. You know him. He throws hammers. Hence the name. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 1. When his HP drops and he thinks he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage. Nothing about these guys has changed. They're tough as ever, so brace yourself. Dang, this book's always skipped the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? Hey. You have to remember not to use flower points. Let's go with Bama next. That's a boomerang bro. This relative of the hammer bros prefers boomerangs. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 1. He attacks twice with boomerangs. Well, on the way out and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he fights all the harder. Prepare for multiple attacks. Put her in front so she can go first to toddle on this one. That's a fire bro. This relative of the hammer bro spits out fire. Max HP is 7, attack is 3, and defense is 1. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so guard well, okay? When his HP gets low, he gets desperate and totally starts attacking like a fiend. And then I'm going to switch to Furry. What do you have for items? Let's use this power block. That was less damage I was, than I was hoping for. Dang. This turn should take care of you. Weird number. Oh, 18 star points. I thought for a second that was 19, but no. What's going on on the left there? Rose to two. Incidentally, darling, did you notice the poor soul on the floor? The body went numb, stupid cake, ate cake, never eat cake again. I dare say that cake was poisoned. 
Had we eaten it, we'd have, we'd have ended up like that poor fellow there. You okay, buddy? Take one for the team. Yeah, you, you hate that cake. The cake hurts you. Remember, kids, cake is bad for you, but only 50% of the time. <laughs> The Koopinator. Avoid switching partners. Ooh. Well, we can switch partners right now. And I'm gonna switch to Goombella. And this is probably going to go very poorly, but that's that's what we're doing. Because I want that uh, that tattle. Yeah, Goombella is not going to be able to actually um, do any damage here. The Razor Blade Brigadier. Yep, a fight to finish with the Koopinator. We ain't going to lose the scrubs like you. You. Finally. Get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yeah, sure enough, we do not have the title for this guy, so. It was an inevitability. Very unfortunate one. Oh no. Fog rolls in and that uh, causes some attacks to miss. But I'm pretty sure Tattle cannot miss. That's a dark Koopa Troll. These guys just totally ooze th toughness, don't you think? Max HP is 25, attack is 5, and defense is 2. After it charges up power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like those red eyes are there to warn you just how tough it is. Or well, maybe it doesn't get much sleep. The Koopa Troopa! The Poopa Scoopa! Yes, indeed, Axe. Try not to die. Why, thanks, Goombella. By the way, what are you going to do to contribute to this fight? Tattle. That's all you got. I cannot change uh, party members because that's the restriction for this fight. Isn't that great? Boosted attack. Yeah, I don't think so. Ow. Come on smashing because that's about the only thing that I can do that will reliably cause a lot of damage. Missed Mario and only hit uh, Umbella. I think this will do it. Yep. The great Gonzales. See, no biggie. She she says while in danger.
And we are at the top of the league. Now all we need to do is actually fight Rockhawk. But... Hey, that's another meal. What do you think? Alright, it's friend or the hater eater. Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby. Oh, X again, huh? Okay, I still don't trust this guy, but maybe it's a clue. Something's behind your posters in the lobby, huh? Alright, I guess we gotta head to the lobby then. First, we're heading to the bed to fix you up. You're on rank 1 and getting 15 coins. Yeah, considering what rank 20 was like 2 or 3. Well, the one way to get rid of the posters, which are us. Yeah, I missed that point. They're shutting our popularity. I think this is scripted so that the last poster that you uh, blow away is going to be the one that actually has something behind it. Hmm. Any posters up here? Ah. Maybe it was that one specifically. You know what? I'm a fish job. Don't know what he does in the bedroom, huh? Well, the limited number of things you can be doing it. Whatever could that key be for? Go to the second floor of the store. Oh, we did see a locked door. Hopefully the door hasn't been like sealed or anything. Looks like it's open. up, see what's inside. Inside is another platforming puzzle that's going to require all of it. Uh, wow! You gotta be kidding me! Bandy Andy and Kid K! Gonzalez, listen to me. Ugh, man, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Ugh. Come on, shake it off, buddy. What do you mean, don't go near the ring? Dead. Gonzalez, you see that? That was Jolene. This is craziness. What's going on in here? Well, that was suspicious. Also, Jolene is probably onto us. Which is kind of upsetting. Hopefully, we can just get to our title bout. Oh, right, this, that's the minor. Oh, never mind. Hopefully, we can get to our title bout without 
any um, sort of interruption. The Gray Gonzalez, howdy! Fixing for a fight, huh? <laughs> well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. Ooh, wait, darn two. You're up against the champ, Rockhawk. I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't you let me down now, here. Listen, son, this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Crowd needs something flashy. Catch my drift, give him a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. Can do. Man, this is exciting. We're going to get the title. We're going to get that fake crystal star belt. And then what, actually? It's a fake belt. Hmm. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, dude. Where are you heading? That ain't the way to the arena. Yeah, uh, you gotta... You go this way this time. This is special. Well, I, I guess that uh, might stand to reason. Hey, hold it, meathead. This doesn't seem right. Where, where are we going? You two wait here. Hey, this ain't the ring. It's a minor league locker room. It's empty. The guy said to wait, but dude, we're missing our title bout. This stinks. Now for today's main event. The top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez, is finally gonna throw down with the champ. The one, the only, Rockhawk. First to enter the ring. The Feral Nuclear Reactor, Rock Hawk. Who doggers? Champ, how you feeling, son? Your challenge is a handful. He don't want a handful of this. Uh, uh. There's only one champ, and it's me. Even if this Gonzalez was ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great Gonzalez made it to the top of the lane and the me just faster than anyone ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. What you gotta say about that? What do I have to say? <sighs> That's what. Who cares if this uh, what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Cause now he gets robbed. Okay, that is it. Nobody's coming for us, man. Hear me? Let's go kick some tail. Aw, oh, weak. Some punks locked us in. We're trapped in here. And now, for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What happened to the Great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll tell you what, he, what happened. He fears the rock. Who we? What a stupid fine development, folks. The Great Gonzalez really turned yellow and hit for the hills like a dog? I tell you what, folks. If you don't show soon, he's gonna forfeit the match. Man, this is the worst. We're gonna forfeit our match if we don't show. We gotta break out of here, man. Right now. Oh. Well, that was, uh... That was exciting. 
Good to know that we can go into these, though. Maybe there is a secret passage. Why is there a poster of Princess Peach? Wow. It's worth checking to see if there's, like, an item in one of these. There. There. And now there. Hmm. Well, we meet again, Princess Peach. Or should I say, Princess Peach poster? What is this room? Ah. Interesting. By the way, it doesn't matter how long we spend in here. This is basically an RPG timeline. Therefore, we can just kind of keep doing what we're doing here. I'm also gonna guess that this door is locked. Drat, locked as well. Anyway, there's a toilet here. Let's say we go potty. This is totally how it works, right? I should like to request that we never do that again. In any case, to the arena. Yeah, let's get our butts over there before it's too late. By the way, how's your deal? Or maybe it wasn't you. I don't know. You all look alike. The moment you've been waiting for, folks! The Great Gonzalez just entered the arena! Much excitement. Well, I dare say we've made it in time. And it sounds like the fans approve. It reminds me so much of my time on stage. Let's go give that chicken what for. Is this in this crowd hooting hard for the challenger, Great Gonzalez? Will his hammer of hurt and palm be, in, be enough to rock the rock hot socks? That sure is a sentence to say. Now, at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's, uh, let's keep it clean, boys. Also, hey, Sim Guy. Hi. Well, here we are, dear. At last we fight the champ. Let's take him, shall we? <laughs> you wimp should have stayed locked up safe and sound. Whatever does that mean, you awful chicken? Am I to understand that it was you who got the security guard to lock us away? You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens to you when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain drain. So it was you, after all. You sent those threats about the Crystal Star. Huh? I have no idea what you're babbling on about now. What's the Crystal Star? No, wait. I don't care. I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now, you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare me rocked. There's a special move at least once. Uh, well, let's say we just lead off of Earth Flower. <laughs> the 
sure I failed miserably, but that's not the point. Um, so let's over to Gumbella and Tower. That's Rockhawk. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. Max HP is 40, attack is 3, and defense is 1. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he is mm, pretty bad. One thing you should never know. Oh, one thing you should know is that Rockhawk never fights above the board. Carol's is least so lifeless as you know. Switch to Flurry. And engage in Bodice Slam. Class classic wrestling move. <laughs> Not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your help. Your head swelled though, because you got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock! Quite the rock. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken you. I should have just taken care of you before the battle. Yeah, he's lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I got no choice but to... Hmm. Ah, uh, that's a coin. Thank you. Can't spin. Can't hand. Can body slam. Let's get you down here. Uh, uh, I've only just begun to rock. I've only just begun to body slam. Get down here, you. Feel the hurt. You have just been rocked. No! I, Rockhawk, the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost to such losers. All right, chapter clear, right? My eyes have just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. That clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable history making battle of all time. And the victor of this match. Yeah, for the ages was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez! You're the champion, son. Give him a hand, folks. The new Bliss Pit champ, the great Gonzalez. <laughs> Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. Well, you finally did it, son. Today is your first day as the new champ. Here's your belt. One would think you would have given me that, um, you know, on stage, as it tends to be tradition. I wonder if anyone has done this fight without following Grubbo's requirements. I mean, probably. Um, 
I don't see that there's really much that can be done about it, really. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Mrs. Jolene, meet Peach and show Gonzalez here at the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? Hopefully we're not getting duped again. Uh, this sure looks like the champion's room to me. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You'll use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. Did I get paid? I didn't get paid. Mario, darling, we've finally done it. We beat that loud. But I dare say that Chicken truly had no clue about the Crystal Star. We're still in dire straits as far as the real one goes. Wherever could it be? Oh my, Mario, darling. I do believe I hear a voice coming from somewhere. Might it be... a ghost? Oh, I almost swooned! That mailbox SP is going to be the death of me! Find the ghost in the champ's room. You're not helping! So vast to me believed, there's really a ghost here? That's rather unsettling. Well, first of all, first of all, let's go ahead and take a rest. Because, um, this bed, I believe they said, would restore our special points. Hmm. Weird that I can't do a spin jump there. Maybe it's because I'm actually hitting the ceiling. bit tricky, but, um... This little edge here... Oh, excuse me. There we go. in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Oh. <laughs> well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. I'm gonna have to wash my tootsies here for a little bit. <laughs> first, gotta get, uh, first I let that King K idiot walk in on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are on to me. Uh, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear. Yep, just like I did to the others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, the scrubber. So he is behind all his missing fighters? Better lock this room up tight in a peanut butter jar to spoil convention. I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relating to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what though? Since I'm thinking out here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rockhawk lo lost the Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon. 
for my sake. Hopefully he's left, because uh, we're about to go in there. Become as Swan. <laughs> I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. Wow, bingo! Beth asked the paper old grubba hid. Check it out, Mario! Yow! A machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. This paper's right, and the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck. Ah, oh, crud. You think King K and Van Yandy got all drained or something? Great galloping gulpets! How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You still have my secret paper, too. Hang on, I'll go ahead and allow that. Shut up, you make me sick. Why'd you drain King K and Bandy Annie, huh? Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. After him, Gonzalez. Yes, it is time to give chase and see what is up with this whole conspiracy thing. But we shall do so after the break. Because it is that time. I guess it's a, a little bit of a um a cliffhanger for you, but uh, not a very long one. It was about 10 to 15 minutes. So, uh y'all can uh get a drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall go ahead into the arena and uh find out what is going on in there? What kind of machine is uh, Blubba here hiding? I'm definitely not quitting. I'm just taking a short break, Axe. I am not a geese. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 